<clears throat> this Sunday we are starting a new summer series that is going to go throughout the entire summer. And the t- it comes from a book that Faith came across called But God, and then su- subtitle Changes Everything by Herbert Cooper. It's basically a book that picks up the various ch- verses in the Bible where you have a phrase, but God. Something's happening in someone's life, but God. Something is, uh, a person is feeling a certain way, but God. And I changed it a little bit from the standpoint that our, our series, I think our series is, when God steps in, miracles happen. When God steps in, miracles happen. Here are some of the themes we're going to be looking at. Uh, next Sunday we're going to be uh, looking at the theme, we're wounded, but God heals us. The following is, we're insecure, but God gives us confidence. We search for identity, but God gives us purpose. And then uh, on and on and on. We're going to go through the entire uh, series this summer. This Sunday, we're, going to, we're starting with, uh, we are surrounded, but God steps in. And we're going to be looking at uh, Exodus chapter 14. Turn with me as we begin our time together in God's Word. Now, if you remember the setting, the people of Israel have left Egypt. Moses was able to cut a deal. Actually, God was able to cut a deal with Pharaoh to let his people go so that they could begin to go to the promised land. And they leave and they're out in the desert and they're on their way and they've camped out down near the Red Sea. And the Pharaoh decides... I made a big mistake. I need to go get those people. And so he's got his army coming down to capture, uh, recapture the Israelites and bring them back to Egypt as slaves. And this is where we pick up our scene for for today. As Pharaoh approached, the Israelites looked up and there were the Egyptians marching after them. They were terrified and cried out to the Lord. And they said to Moses, Was it because there were no graves in Egypt that you brought us to the desert to die? What have you done to us by bringing us out of Egypt? Didn't we say to you in Egypt, Leave us alone, let us serve the Egyptians? It would have been better for us to serve the Egyptians than to die in the desert. And Moses answered the people, Do not be afraid. Stand firm. And you will see the deliverance the Lord will bring to you today. The Egyptians you see today, you will never see again. The Lord will fight for you. You need only to be still. You need only to be still. So is the reading of God's holy word. Let us pray. Gracious God, we ask that you open this text to us today. Bring to us what we need to hear. And then give us the courage to put it into practice. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Have you ever felt surrounded? Just overwhelmed by a situation, hemmed in as if there seems to be no way out. Maybe you are personally have so many things going on in your life right now that you're just overwhelmed and you don't know what to do. Or maybe financially you're sinking more and more and more into debt and you don't know how to stop it. Or possibly you're physically you have a a, a chronic illness that seems to keep plaguing you and bugging you and and it doesn't seem to ever end. You're surrounded, overwhelmed. Well, that's the feeling that the Hebrews had, the Israelites had, when they saw the Egyptians approaching. They were terrified when they saw Pharaoh coming after them. They knew very well the strength and the rage of the enemy. And they also knew very well their circumstance, their weakness. They were a large group of people, but all were on foot. They were unarmed, undisciplined, and disquieted by a long servitude. And now, 
pinned up by the situation of their camp so that they could not make any escape. On the one side, there was Piahiroth, which is basically a a range of of craggy rocks that were impassable. That was on one side. On the other side, there was Migdal and Baal-Zephon, which were forts and garrisons out in the frontiers of Egypt. In front of them was the sea, and behind them were the Egyptians.